So we have a basic person problem is already in the form where we can just translate it to a one step equation and so for x. And this is a type 3. This is probably the most interesting type of person problem when the odd number is the unknown. So in our little table, it's always is, is fraction times of. And in this particular case, 125% is the fraction. It's the same as 125 over 100. Depending on where you are in algebra, you can handle this number differently. We can rewrite it as a decimal. It would be 1.25. Or we can use it as a reduced fraction, which would be, if we divide both upstairs and downstairs by 25, we would, it would be 5 over 4. So we don't really know yet which form is going to be the best for us. So the is number is 450. And then, of course, the of number is the unknown. Of a number, find that number. So given these characters, the is equals fraction times of will play out as 450 equals to, I'm going to go with the fraction form, 5 over 4 times x. 1.25 would work just as well. So then to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by whatever is multiplying x, in this case 5 over 4. And so x is 450 divided by 5 over 4. To divide is to multiply by the reciprocal. So we're talking about 450 times 4 over 5. See, 45 is 9 times 5. So this is 90 times 4, which is 360. So we think the answer is 360. Checking is always a type 1 problem. So what happens if we take 360 and we take 125% of it? We should get 450. Now we're going to use the decimal form, and we did get 450. So our answer is correct. The, the number we were looking for is 360. Um, one more comment. A very common error is to say, well, we are given 450 is 125%. Why don't I just subtract 25%? Why don't I just take 25% of this number and subtract from 450? Now that is incorrect because once upon a time there was a number, now we know it's 360, and 25% of that number was added to 360. So 25% of 450 is too much. Try to avoid that uh, commonly seen error. Thank you for watching.